You're a curious little boy, aren't you? Get rid of him! Guys, to Lara Sinara, Dark Parables, Goldilocks, and the Fallen Star Collector's Edition Part 1. Now, this is going to be the last one that we play for a while because the 11th game is still in production. Uh, the 11th one is still in production, which is the Swan Princess game. Really jazzed for that one, but right now it's in beta testing. Um, on Big Fish Games. So they haven't uh, released that one yet, so we'll have to wait for that. However, Blue Tea does have some other games. I'm going to look into playing those next. Uh, and I guess you'll see if we do that or not. Alright, guys, so let's get into this one. Oh, also bear with me. I'm a little tired today, so I'm sorry if I don't seem as energized as I usually am. But I'm still pretty jazzed about the game, so here we go. All right, casual. No, let's go to custom. Ah, uh, no. T why would I have no tutorial? Why? I want. No, I want a tutorial. Can I unselect that? How do you unselect things? Oh, oh. There's multiple tutorial, but. Good job, Lara. <laughs> what is show special tutorial? Well, uh, you want to know what? We'll do it. We'll, let's find out. Uh, show objectives. Show areas. Show hops. Show contextual pointers. Helpful messages. Plus item indicator. Easy. Ten seconds. Glitter. Skips. All right. Check. Uh, you can change the difficulty mode during the game by selecting the menu button in the lower right corner. Whew. All right. Let's do it. Hey, Goldilocks. What's up, girl? I like your hair. It's really golden. All right. Let's do it. Detective, I'm afraid you won't have much time to enjoy the beauty of Lake Simher, as we've got an urgent case for you. A few days ago, a young boy claimed he was attacked by savage mechanical beasts. We thought it was a case of the boy who cried wolf, but then we discovered a strange magical artifact. The boy thinks the artifact had something to do with the attack. The goal of your mission is to find out more about it. Head to the city and begin your investigation. Good luck, detective. Yay. Uh-oh. Always. All the time. Every time. <sighs> we are not very good at avoiding disaster when we first arrive. Holy crap. Okay. Um, am I supposed to be doing something here? <laughs> um, if I could just reach the, t whoa, what is going on here? Um, Well, damn. All right. I lost most of my belongings in the crash. Luckily, I didn't drop the artifact. Whew. Yeah, you're freaking lucky. 
Uh, every location in this game contains a hidden snowflake. The indicator in the lower right corner shows how many that you found. Th there's a snowflake right there? Really? Oh, right there. Those look like they're going to be hard to find. Lovely. <laughs> um, I guess a special tutorial even shows you, you know, how to collect, you know, the little um, special things they have and whatnot as well. So that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, these strange runes are all over the place. What could they mean? Rune stuff. Like RuneScape? No, not RuneScape. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about RuneScape. <laughs> Welcome to the land of Bersia, domain of the benevolent queen Avala. If you aren't an Olsian, I think that's Olsian, <clears throat> or an ally of that tr traitorous breed, proceed. Uh, okay, so. If you aren't an Olsian or any ally of that traitorous breed, proceed. Okay. So as long as we're not an Olsian, which I'm pretty sure we're not. At least I'm almost to my destination. It doesn't sound very hospitable. <laughs> um, I don't see anything else around here. Uh, give me this. Drat, I must have lost the key. I need another way to open it. That must be his personal chest. Uh. Hmm. I guess I need more runes. Alright, you found a plus item that can be examined further and be combined with other items. So, just like last time as well. Alright, copper piece. Oh, and then we just get the cloth as well. Sweet. Okay. A golden cobweb. How is this possible? I don't know. Because golden things? Maybe? I, I don't know. Okay. Alright, detective. I don't know. Let me see. Can we go this way? No. Um. Golden sun. Mm. No. Can I use the art of it? I am slightly stuck already. Uh, oh! Easy, boy. Calm down. Let's see who this is. That was scary. <clears throat> State your business. The kingdom of Barja is closed to foreigners. Maybe I should show him the artifact and explain why I'm here. An artifact, you say? That is just the kind of lore that appeals to our queen. But I can't let you pass. Well, not unless you want to help me out. I lost my hunting horn somewhere in the forest. I'd look for it myself, but I can't leave my post. Can you help me find it? Why are you tossing your water? My husband is bottle flipping. I guess he expects everybody to go crazy or something. Huh? Right. Um, you're failing at that. He's failing. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, he got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, my our our shenanigans. All right, let's get back to the actual game. <clears throat> okay, so we talk to the hunter guy, and he's like, "Give me my horn, and I'll let you pass." All right, let's go this way. I wonder if nature shaped the cliff, or if it's man-made. Uh, some locations in the game contain hidden pieces of parables. Uh, collect three pieces of the same parable to unlock it. Uh, let me see, what do we got? Oh, a bunch. The Fallen Star, Magic Ribbons, Ewen the 
And Ewan? Ewan, I think. The crafty. Boulevard and Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin's in here again? Wow, okay. Uh, crowning of Queen Vala. Alright then. <clears throat> I need more than just my hands to force this open. Are you sure? I bet you could do it. There's something in the embers, but I need to put out the flames before I can grab it. Cloth? No, I can't do that. Uh, frozen thingy? Yay! It's melting the frozen thingy while also putting out the fire! Now I can use it. Ooh, is it one of those rune things? It is. Okay. Uh, Brescia and Osea, so similar, but separated for all eternity. <clears throat> well, goodness, okay. Um, let me put this over here. I still need more of them, though. Or not. Okay. Well, I need to solve this. Um, rotate the rune stones. Moving one rotates all the adjacent runes. Turn the stones so that all the runes are visible. Okay, then. Um, I'm going to skip. <clears throat> I'm not good at those types. There we go. Okay. Blow up in my face. Sounds great. The sun and the moon, the bear and the stars. These are marks of the two kingdoms by the lake. Okay. It's like this carving is telling a story. Something must have happened during an astronomical event. <laughs> Did I cause a divide? I wish I knew more local fairy tales. Uh, you should probably study the place you're going before you go there. That might be a good idea. But, you know, whatever. Let's continue. Uh-oh. Who's that? What do we have here? It's Goldilocks. Let's talk to her. I am Princess Leda of Barja. I'm looking for the silver stags that have been terrorizing my people. Okay, Goldilocks. Who are you, and what are you doing here? This is not a safe place. I'd advise you to leave. But perhaps fate has a role for you in all this. I suppose that remains to be seen. <laughs> we, we came to help you out, Goldilocks. Calm down. Uh... Okay... The princess has a golden touch. I've heard of that before. Oh my goodness! They're uh, combining Midas' golden touch into here. That's interesting. <clears throat> Alright, we're looking for the hunting horn. Awesome, we have found it. Like I say in every game, right now we are looking for pieces of a hidden object. Uh, in normal hidden object scenes for most games, you're just looking for a lot of useless objects that you're not going to use. Save it, bur uh, except for, like, one. Um, <clears throat> but in Dark Parable hidden object games, you're actually looking for pieces of the, of the one thing you're gonna need out of the scene. So that's what I really like about it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and, uh, finish this up. Awesome. We found his horn. I I have most of this uh, sentencing horn. I just need to find the rest. Oh, I don't have all of it. Holy! Whoo! That spider is huge. I guess if you have arachnophobia, this is a little bit too late for me to be warning you that there's gonna be a giant spider in this game, apparently. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, you know what? I'm gonna actually go back. I wanna see if I can find the snowflake in this area. The snowflakes are gonna be really hard to find. Um, what we might do 
since they are hard to find, is, oh wait, that's, ah, I found it in that one, awesome. Um, any ones I don't find though, they usually let you go back later and do them. So I might do that if I can't find all of them. I'm still gonna make an effort to find them, of course. Um, but I'm, I'm not gonna take too much time on them for each one. Here lies the king of Barcyon, faithful defender of its uh, land and people. Hmm, looks like a monument for the royal family. Uh, is there a, bur a burial ground? Maybe. Hmm. Is there something else that we need in here? I don't know. Alright, let me look at the guide here. Okay. Right up there is the snowflake, and now we know where the next parable is. I usually look at the guide to be able to find the parables, because they have made them harder to find. Someone met a gruesome death here. Seems like a suitable fate for a grave robber. True. <clears throat> um. Nothing else there? Uh, oh, no, there is something. Uh, Luna's blessing has been stripped from this knight. He walks in darkness now. Hmm. Uh, there we go. That is the, oh, I can't remember which goddess she is. I wish I had clicked on that before putting that in there. Um, I guess she's the sun goddess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, is that, um, that might be Flora. I'm not sure. <clears throat> it's It's been a while. I do remember seeing that goddess, though. Uh, but it might be the sun goddess. I don't know if we've had her in a game before. The princess turned the ice to solid gold. I won't be able to get through. She does not want us following her. Rusty sword. Does that go with these? No. I thought it might, but apparently it does not. Can I use it for leverage? Yes! Awesome. My map of Lake uh, Symmetry Simet <laughs> and the surrounding area, including the kingdom of Brescia and whatever, it, it went by too fast. This area was once a single kingdom. The legend says that the land and the lake were divided by a magical barrier after the sun and the moon goddess so yeah, it was the sun goddess. The sun and the moon goddess quarreled over the fallen star and the wish it can grant. Ooh, okay, well then. <clears throat> Brush. So two goddesses quarreled. That's interesting. Alrighty. What else? What else? Um, some, something did need to be dusted off. What was that? Air tooth. Hmm. Let me see. Does the map show me where I need to be? Uh, there is something in this area, though. I don't have everything I need for it. Um. Oh, maybe I can use the sword on that as well? I guess so. I guess I can. it open get the thingy all right we got the moon so let's go back over there um where was it over here yeah okay and part of the horn okay Uh, I doubt that the sentry will be satisfied with an incomplete horn. I cannot use that. Well, if you nope, nope. <sighs> All 
All right, that's not gonna work. Hmm. There is something over here, though. I was supposed to click on that earlier. I didn't. I wonder what these figures are. Um, it looks like there's an inscription underneath the layer of dirt. Okay, here we go. <coughs> it's those runes again. Uh, why did I click on one? Uh, I remember seeing those symbols nearby. Perhaps I should try the combination. Let me... Um... Hmm... Where, where are the, oh, that's right, they're on the grave. They're on the grave. Our hourglass, oh, all right. Our hourglass, oh. It can't be considered that runes on the symbol match the ones on the pedestal. Oh, it can't be coincidence. Good job, Lara, for saying things that aren't correct. Um... Oh, it's over here. I, I couldn't see it. I am blind. I guess that solves this. Uh, we'll have to wait until I find the missing statue. What was that underneath? Hunting horn part. Oh, sweet. Can we fix it all the way now? Maybe. Oh, cool. We fixed it. Here you go. Here's your thingy. My trusty horn. <clears throat> and it's good as new. You keep your word, I see. Now it's up to me to keep mine. To get to the castle, follow the path to the village. There you'll see an old staircase. Take it. Okay. Well then. I'm off to check the perimeter. But I'll see you at the castle later. Alright, person. I gotcha. Oh, where was... I remember that there was a parable around. House of Boulevard. The merchant ancient Barcia landmark restored to its former glory. All right, found that. I need one more, I believe. Yep, one more. Let's see, what do we got in this area? Where's the snowflake? There it is. Um, I got a statue thingy. What is this? Uh, I could use a whetstone. Too bad it was um, dismantled. I don't have a whetstone to put on there, or whatever. Uh, no one would decorate the statue with just a piece of chain. I bet something was hanging from it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't think the soldier figurine would be on there. Um, the door might open if I replace its missing symbols. The rope might be useful, but I need to cut it down for- Can I use the bear tooth? Rusty sword, probably not. Mm-mm. Uh, oh, here we go. Let me put that there. Need another bird for that, though. Apparently, we can go through there. Oh. Uh... Goldilocks? <laughs> Another mechanical beast. Good thing it wouldn't be able to harm anyone else. I I'm gonna guess Goldilocks crushed that thing. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> okay. Axe handle. <clears throat> there we go. An axe handle that I do not have an axe to put on. Okay. 
Joy. Anything else here before I continue? These hidden stairways uh, to... There's a hidden stairway to the keep, but where does it begin? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's continue. Well then, so far so good. The next part will be tricky. The stag broke the bridge with its fall. Um, yeah, not really. Not a yay, not a yay, okay. Alright. <clears throat> hmm. Let me put the birdie. Can they? Goddess pendant. I don't think she goes in here. I, I just need the other half of the dude. Villagers are hiding inside the houses. If not for the lights, I'd think this place was abandoned. Oh, here we go. And this thing. Uh, I'm glad I tried it first. Uh, trying anything to that, tying anything to that would be dangerous. Uh, if I could find some kind of wedge, I could tie a rope and swing to it. Rusty sword? No, I can't use the rusty sword. Okay, whatever. Um, Goldilocks. Small axe. Oh, okay. Um. No, axle. Small axle. Okay. <clears throat> hmm, okay. I still need to be over here. Oh, I did not see this. The sun got a statue made of pure gold. This deity must be popular with the locals. All right. Can I give? No, okay. Uh, she was holding something in this hand as well. Uh, Phoenix? Yep. Well then, okay. Are you going to restore the bridge for me? No? Okay. <laughs> um, she's re uh, revered because she gave humanity the gift of fire. Um, what is this? Boar tanker, goddess's locket. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. As far as I know. What? There's another... What, what do I need to do here? Tell me. Oh, that would make sense. Good job, Lara. Well, okay then, but what does it do? Uh, can I? No, I can't. Um. Oh, you know what? It probably goes on the bear. Uh, the bear isn't so fierce without its tooth. Oh. There you go. Gimme! I'm put Goldilocks right there. Uh, interact with the objects to complete Goldilocks' story. Hmm. Odd. I need one more B, I think. There we go. Lower the bridge. Okay. 
Interact with Do I Oh, does it have to be like right here? I'm going to guess it does. There we go. I did a thing. Interact with the objects to complete the Goldilocks story. So, I mean, the same thing as before. Um... <clears throat> There's one more thing somewhere. There we go. and stuff. Well then. This porridge is too cold. This porridge is just right. Um. I have to make it fit the... Hmm. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, it's a matching game. This bed is... Okay. This bed is just right. Achievement, a puzzle unlocked. A uh, rock wedge. All that for a rock wedge. Lovely! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and stop here today. And in the next episode, we'll go ahead and see if we can't get into the town... And start doing some investigational work. Yes. All right. All righty, guys. So today we met Goldilocks, who's apparently the princess of some magical bear land. We'll call it that for now. I mean, it has a name. But, uh, like, Brescia, I think. I forget things very quickly. I'm a horrible person. I know. <laughs> All right, guys, so we met Goldilocks. Uh, there is some woman roaming around with a uh, really scary uh, mechanical bucks who want to kill things. Lovely. <laughs> All right, so if you love what I do, just go ahead and click on the pay trees of the aunt and uh, see what you can do, see if you can help support me. Also, Mawafu, if you love my channel, or you can click on her, see what she's doing, see if she's doing anything at all. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, you know, just uh, go be you. Just maybe not, uh, you know, always get attacked when you fall. Or when, not, when you go into towns and stuff, don't just, like, fall and die. Just, like, be, be more prepared and, uh... Open your eyes, like, look around and be ready, okay? Don't be like the detective who almost dies before he even gets to anything every time. Yay! <laughs> Alright, bye guys.